Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Natalie here, back with another message for you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. So we're going to be tapping into this energy, seeing what spirit needs the uh, collective to know. Keep in mind, energies can be reversed. Time is fluid. Not everything will resonate for everyone out there, so please use your discernment. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like no matter what happens, um, there's going to be a change here. Whether you guys like it or not, whether it's comfortable or whether it's not comfortable, the change is here, okay? It cannot be um, any other way with the bat spirit here. I wish I had the book to these cards because I want to read what the bat spirit is talking about. But with a rebirth as assured, it kind of gives me vibes for like, <clears throat> you can't stop the rebirth. You can't stop something. No one else can stop it either. All right, so we got realization. Feel your emotions as they arise. So even though things are happening this way, um, I feel like you you could be going through the emotions, like going through a roller coaster, but it's okay. It's okay. But at the same time, I feel like um, these emotions are coming to the surface for a reason. I'm also hearing your emotions have a rise to other people. <clears throat> But like without you, I don't really get much of you speaking on it, but let's see. But your emotions are shown. Open to infinite possibility. Let's see what other cards came out. Uh, life lessons, moss spirit. Yeah, surrender now, inspiration. Breathe your inspiration into the world. Acknowledge and release for renewal. You're just being told to acknowledge it. Take something as a lesson and move forward. Um, if you hold on to it, then it sounds like you're not doing what the divine wants you to do. Yeah, act as if. It's kind of like a, a game here, though. It's not painful. It's not going to be painful. It won't be. Under that, we, uh, under that we have dreamed the world into being. So, in a way, it'll be like your dreams are coming true, so just be thankful. Uh-oh. So yeah, it's kind of giving me vibes. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to have to pause this and plug my laptop in. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so basically, yeah, a big change is coming. It's not going to hurt. You guys are going to be okay, pretty much. And I feel like the vibe of this reading is basically giving me like, um, just accept it. I feel like everyone's going to have to accept it. You, everyone around you, it's like, it, it is what it is. I'm also getting like, uh be the same everywhere you go or you can be the same everywhere you go you don't have to like okay let's say if you're from um the west coast and you're moving to the east coast you don't have to change who you are just be who you are like i feel like someone could be like moving or something are you moving to a different state or something and you're like well how do i fit in with people from that state it's like you don't have to it's like you just be who you are be the same everywhere you go Okay, let's see what comes out with the, what's the T? All right, so we got stress here. Turbulence, tension, and arguments. Divination abuser. Okay, so someone is doing divination. They're not supposed to. They're stressed out. Someone is real stressed out. I feel like someone just does entirely too much when it comes to divination. Bad karma. So they're attached to bad karma here. Because hmm. divination is a tool. It matters who has the tool, not what it is. Like people will say, oh, well, you know, any divination is the devil, but not exactly if the person that's using it has good intentions. Everything is about intention. That's like saying all guns are bad. All knives are bad. It, but it's really the person holding it that's bad. Okay? I don't know. But someone is very bitter. Um, they don't like rejection and they're chasing somebody. This is why they're into divination. Heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions, and messed up. What's going on here? This could be men and women doing this too. It's not just women, it's not just men. I feel like there's men doing this too. 
but I also feel like there's women out here doing this. So just be careful. Like, what the heck? <sighs> All right, let me see. I haven't used these cards in a while. Look at this. Right when I picked it, right when I picked it up. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody's not supposed to be doing tarot. They're not supposed to be reading divination because they're stressed out. They're not healing. They're they're just stressed out. And they're stressed out about love. They're not stressed out about a bag. They're not stressed out about a job that they're getting. They're stressed about some man here. They could be a Virgo or the man could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Someone's a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Someone wants to be part of the crowd. So, okay, so the reason why I tapped into moving into a different state, maybe someone acts like this. They're not the same everywhere they go. Queen of Swords, you may be calling this out. I feel like you're already respected for what you say. So this person is like, what's wrong with them? I feel like they're crying or something. Someone's been crying in my energy for the past couple of days and it's kind of hard. It's like, buck up, Bart. Like, you can't tell this. Like, this woman here, she has to, like, do what she needs to be doing for herself. It's not, it's not rocket science and it doesn't need divination. You don't need divination to know that you need to be standing on your own too. You should have already known that. Like, someone is weird. Let me get in this crybaby energy for a minute. All right, so we have the Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. So someone feels like, oh, so you think you're better because you're moving on the peaceful, calmer waters and you're not being affected in any sort of way. You're just moving forward towards the sun. Yes, that's exactly what the collective is doing. What are you talking about? <clears throat> this person doesn't believe in God or something. They must not believe in God. All they believe in is, is this stuff, but they do not believe in God. And they do not believe in things being the way that they are or the way that they're supposed to be. Even when it's a drastic change, it's uncomfortable. Some people need to learn how to rip the band-aid off instead of focusing on the pain. This, pers this person may have significant Pisces placements to where uh, they don't like pain. So they avoid it or Virgo placements. I keep picking up Virgo. I'm picking up an air sign too. Or you're an air sign. This person tried to do some sort of battle of the mind trick with you. Okay. And they're the ones juggling. They feel like you left them juggling, figure, trying to figure out what's what. It's like, what? Ace of Swords reverse. Two of Swords reverse. This person doesn't know what's going on. I'm also feeling like this person doesn't know what's going on unless you know what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on. But the thing is, you don't like what I'm saying. Whoever this person is, whoever you are, I'm telling you what's going on. You just don't like what I'm saying. Because you're just so focused on relationships that are not supposed to be working out. High Priestess Reverse, you don't even have like a clue of what you're doing or or the person that you're with or none of that. But you're constantly worried about what they're doing. Nine of Pentacles Reverse, you don't know yourself. You don't know yourself. This could be a karmic air sign too, which is embarrassing because I'm an air sign, so... It's like, this is this is why this is making me mad. It's like, you need to like, think with your mind and not with like how you look all the time. That doesn't always work. You need to start thinking with your mind. Yeah, three of swords here. You guys could be a Libra or someone else is a Libra. There's a lot of air here. Or it's like the battle of the air signs and which ones are really smart and which, one are, which ones are not. Yeah, there's that queen of swords reverse. You guys could be a Gemini with Scorpio placements or something. Someone is confused and it's like, I can't help you. <laughs> I can't, it's like, I can't help you love yourself. That's a you thing. <laughs>
All right, so we got the Hierophant reverse here. Someone has false beliefs. They don't believe in anything that I'm saying. Yeah, the devil reverse, but this has to be, like this has to be this way. Who does this person think that they are? They think that they are God or they think their cult is bigger than God? Like what? They think them and their friends, their family members are what's gonna help them get by every day? No, no, it's you and it's God. That's the only two people that's supposed to be working together. Four swords are first. This person can't even rest. But there's no more attachment here. It's gone. There's no more cult here. Everybody's split up. It's like, what is this person doing? There could be like one person in the cult that may want to stick there. Stay there. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This person's all jealousy because you're innocent or you're nice or you're you just don't like something's wrong with this person. Their person is off. They feel like you think you're innocent. This person is going through a lot of like stress. This person is always arguing with, arguing with people and doing divination. What's the uh, five of swords? It's like, oh, so you think you're just gonna move on? It could be a whole group of people here. A whole community out here is, is they think this way. Oh, so you're just going to move on. Nothing ever happened to you or nothing ever happens to you. You moved on from some trauma here. Six of Swords is moving on from mental trauma. And they're mad at you because you're not even like moving on physically. You're thinking about it though. It's like wherever the mind goes, the body will follow eventually. So if you're thinking about going, they're even mad about that. Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, because you're putting down responsibilities and burdens of these people. That is not your responsibility. This could be your family or something and they act like they don't do divination. Yes, they do. But they do it war in a warped way. And you're trying to tell them you cannot do none of this without no self-love or you're automatically on the dark side. You cannot be doing this with no self-love. What's the Seven of Cups? The Fool, the Tower. You guys could be an Aries, Scorpio, or a Gemini, or you have these placements in your chart. So this person didn't expect you, or these people did not expect you to think this way. They didn't expect you to like want to start new chapters or willing to take leaps of faith. They don't want you having faith, okay? Uh, this person, or these people like to put people into relationships like they like to bind people together people that aren't supposed to be together or but in a weird way not like oh you guys should get married and you guys are like not betrothed kind of but it's more like it's a um it's a lot of abuse that goes on with it it's like something about like you and your karmic partner they wanted you stuck to them or something but like it was very abusive the way that they wanted you stuck to them okay so we have the uh eight of swords reverse and the hangman these people are just gonna have to accept that you just think different that's all that's there's nothing to like be for them to be jealous about you just think different it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you... Okay, so these people think that you need to be stolen from or something. Seven of Swords with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. They feel like, well, you need to be stolen from or like that needs to be taken from you. Or they like to cloak themselves in your energy or or they look at what you do as easy. So these are like people that do divination because they think it's easy. I've been tapping in, into that too. They think it's easy, so they try to steal it or copy it. And it's like, no... Um, you're a piece of crap and if you touch it you're gonna your whole world is gonna crash you need to be healing yourself either while you're doing it or, or before you do it there's people out there who ha have no religion growing up like they have no basis their mom never told them to believe in anything right mom never took them to church or nothing like that and then they touch cards it's like so you you have like no you have like no basis of like why you're doing it. <laughs> so
Some people like to do stuff like this to defy God on purpose, to prove there's no God and I'm the best tarot reader in the world. You know what I mean? Like, they like to make it seem like that, but like, no. No, 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 no. You need to start from ground one. God is ground one. And then you build yourself spiritually to deal with divination and things of that such. But if you don't know yourself and you don't know God and you're touching these cards and you're only doing it to watch somebody, it's not about getting a job or nothing. That, like, like you, like you only do it to watch somebody. That's a problem. What's the Ace of Swords of Earth? Someone got the wrong idea. Yeah, the Page of Cups. They got the wrong idea how you're carrying yourself too because you're just being nice. You're just moving. So what you're doing here is that you're showing them. Instead of telling them, you're showing them. Uh, Page of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. With your actions and like your emotions. Like I said in the beginning, there's something about like how your emotions will come to the surface for people, but not like in a eruptional way. You're showing these people that like you can be kind and it's like it's not even about being fake or not and it's like just being a kind person you were raised right like you don't have time to um beef with people all the time and they didn't like that about you so they started using your whatever you do against you claiming that they know what you're doing and you're like come on now you don't know what you're doing <laughs> you don't know what you're doing you haven't studied like this person. You haven't, you know what I mean? You haven't actually put yourself, put the hard work into something that someone else loves to do. And then you wonder why you're failing. What's the two of wands reverse or the two of swords reverse? What's that? Queen of swords. This is all about the mind. This has nothing to do with looks, but you want to know something about that? Something about your mind goes into your looks too. It's like, you're very attractive because of what you know. So these females don't know that secret either. They don't know anything. All they know is how to chase some man or a man chasing women. Cause I seen that in the beginning too. It's like everybody needs to sit down and focus on their own stuff. What's the three of swords? This person is hurt that you're getting attention or success. Oh, they're hurt because you get attention and success by by off of your mind alone and they get attention is and success by a collaboration like i guess there's nothing wrong with working with people but like you guys better all know what you're doing because a lot of people don't know what they're doing either when they work together sometimes it's best to work alone but some people can't what's the three of pentacles reverse with three of swords so they're not what what's the eight of wands reverse Wow. Five of Wands reverse. People want you to be hostile and fight them. They want you to like um have competition with them or they want a transfer of energy. Cause right now you're not in the energy of fighting. They need your energy. They need like an energy transfer. But I'm getting more like anger. So that you don't pair up with somebody. Two of Cups here. What's the hierarchy for Herbert? So I feel like these people like to break the law. What's wrong with them? Okay, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, you work by yourself. So you don't have the law on you. Not really. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you pretty much grow your own crops. You pretty much do your own thing, so. What's the seven of pentacles with the nine of pentacles? I pretty much, I'm getting more to that you do have the law watching you because you do things by yourself. They're even concerned and confused about it. I mean, we got the star reverse with the seven of pentacles here. What's the uh, devil reverse? Let's go to the devil reverse. Four of wands reverse. And the, okay. So yeah, someone had like total disregard for their home, their relationship, their fourth house. Um, this is someone here who is, they ruined a relationship with you for one. If this is talking about a man. But I'm also getting like, um, 
they have like no fourth they something's going on with their fourth house it's not right it's unstable it's a mess just the four of wands reverse four of pentacles reverse someone may have to even release a house because there were there was a lot of um negative attachments to that house oh yeah how you get houses depends on like the energy in the house too like that connects that goes together so i think i said that backwards the energy of the house depends on how you got that house pretty much it's like there's negative energies there if like you stole a house there's not going to be good energies in that home if you got your house fair and square all you got to do is cleanse it and then you don't have any anything in your house but i don't know there's like people out here with like demonic households because how they got the house what's the uh four of swords reverse yeah the ace of pentacles reverse they're losing ten of swords reverse someone also lied so that someone else could lose their house they gotta let that let that go too i don't know why there's a man out here trying to make sure a woman is homeless but that's stupid moving on What's the Ten of Swords reverse? Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, they're not gonna get what they think they're gonna get, okay? You guys could be a Cancer though. That's what I was getting in the um, beginning. So you guys may have like, so people think some Cancers are not violent. Uh, yes, they are. Um, all water signs are violent. You think that water signs can be violent? That's crazy. They'll just attack you off their emotions. It's not about anger. It's about their emotions. It's like, you guys are the type of person, like, you are sad because you want to put your hands on people, but you know that you can go to jail. Like, that's that's your, um, that's pretty much your idea of, you know, violent. But it's not really giving me that you're going to do that. You're too mature for that. Or you're, you're just not going to, um be affected by the energies here these people need to sit down and be quiet they just want to irritate you or something it's them that can't it's these people that are angry we got confront and blame i accept that i i accept responsibility for my well-being there's something about your energy that makes these people confront themselves or they have to confront themselves because people are weird Especially if they see you taking accountability for what you're doing. Now it's like flipped around on them. So it's like, what are you doing? What are you taking accountability for? Nothing. Yeah, they're thinking about it. Resting and reconsider. Nothing. They got to sit there and think about it. Yeah, you're teaching somebody something. I'm getting something about parables. Like when Jesus does his parables, he'd be making people sit there and think. We got dedicated effort. Something about your work or something. Simply love. Mm. Something about like the love that you may have for your children. Or this is about just, you're showing them love. I don't feel like you're, I don't feel like you are competing with these people. I don't feel like you're trying to one up them. You're doing their job, you're teaching. When Jesus was teaching, they thought that he just thought that he was the all-knowing. And they were just like, oh, he just thinks he knows everything. Oh, Jesus just thinks he knows everything. He doesn't know everything. Let's keep testing him and asking him, though. Let's keep coming and following him around in case he has something to say. You know what I mean? It's like pe people back then. People back then couldn't understand truth. So it's like... And all you keep is keep doing is approving yourself through adversity or something i accept that challenges are the best way to learn feeling alone rest and reconsider yeah someone needs to sit down and think about like what they've been doing and why and how stupid it is pretty much we got regret yep i know that i cannot change the past yeah because you change your focus and you're not focused on this no more detached in relationships you detach from a relationship they have not detached from you though so i figure it's them in the beginning that cannot handle i don't know maybe a breakup a shift or something like that 
Let's see what comes out of these cards that I'm moving on. Hidden occult practices and rituals. Yeah, somebody does somebody does divination, but in the, on the dark side, they're on the dark side. Wow. That's funny. It says, real love is here for you at this moment. Don't doubt this person. I don't know who that is for you guys, but that could be a message. We got Libra. Yeah, something about relationships. Balance, justice, relationships, court, and contracts. They pay for friends and have no personality. <laughs> I'm funny. But yeah. So these people paid for readings. They got to pay to make people like them. That's sad. October. You guys could be a Libra, like I said. Or something's going to happen in October. They're just a troll. Okay. Yeah, this is like giving me like dark energy. They're a clown and belong in the circus. <laughs> that hasn't came out in a while. Rumors have been cleared up or will. Okay. Yeah, because people see that they pay for friends and have no personality unless they got some money on them. Anywho. Go home, Roger. So this could be a dude. All right, guys. So this is your reading. Hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share it on my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.